Hi, we're here with Cincinnati Country Day School track and field coach Steve Connor. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. Steve, you've been here 29 years. You've seen a lot of success here in the track program. You've seen state champions. Um, you've seen a state runner up in 1998. Um, tell me a little bit about what you're expecting from this year's team and some of your top athletes. Well, this year's team hopefully will build on what we've done in the past. They've been very successful. Uh, we did very well last year with boys winning district title, girls being district runner ups, getting three events to state, including a fourth place finish in the 4x2. So we're just hoping to build on those experiences and try to get better. Now, you're talking about a second place finish in the 4x2. Um, how many of those girls do you have back, and kind of what do you expect in this year's team? We have three of the girls back, uh, including all three of them also ran the 4x1 in the main state. So we finally replaced them and them right back in spot. Um, those three that are returning will be faster, so we're hoping to see an improvement there. Um, with the boys 4x8 team that made the state, again, three of them are back. Uh, we feel like we had a good, a good set of replacements, and so we'll see if they can make it with the podium this year, as well as other events. We look strong in a lot of areas. I know we set the bar pretty high here when it comes to our track and field program, and I know you work the kids pretty hard. How many district championships do we have, do you, or do you know off the top of your head? For the girls, it's 23. It's the highest number in the city of any school, any division of any school. And the boys, I believe, is 13, which again, rates right up there pretty high. That's very, very impressive. Uh, I know that you have a quality staff you've assembled, a lot of years of experience. You've got Coach Black, who also coaches cross country here, been here a long time. Coach Jim Wright, who's been here a long time, um, you know, is in a bunch of Hall of Fames. Tell me kind of a little bit about what that experience and having them on your staff does for this staff. Oh, it's incredible having the three coaches, uh, including myself, that can all be head coaches and all have been head coaches in the past. Um, Earl Black's distance experience is phenomenal. You can tell that by how well he's run the cross country team here for the last 30 plus years. Jim Wright's been coaching for 60 plus years. His knowledge of every event, he can, he can coach anything. And so his knowledge and experience in every event is, is truly incredible. Uh, the nice thing about Jim Wright is when you listen to him coach, it is a track clinic. He's a very smart man. Um, I, I'm smart enough to have him around. He's a, a great guy and just a great person to uh, have as a mentor. Awesome. Tell me about the other two coaches that round out your staff. Uh, Brittany Elfers is Jim's granddaughter. Uh, she was a strong thrower in high school. And she's a student of this event. She really understands. She wants to learn more about the event. Have her grandfather mentoring her also. Uh, she picks out things that sometimes he doesn't pick out. So in the weight events, she does a great job. And she's very interested in learning uh, more about the other events. And then hopefully working towards being a head coach. Edwin Sam is a runner up here for Country Day years ago. He came back to uh, join the staff to help us with our hurdles and sprints. And again, he wants to learn about the event, not just say, understand this is what you do, but this is why and how you do it. That's what a lot of people don't understand about coaching track. It's very technical, isn't it? Oh, it's very technical. Um, anything. I learned from Coach Riley years ago that one little mistake can cost you an inch on every stride. You add up those number of strides over 100 meters, and you're two meters behind. That's, that sounds pretty good. That's good advice. So when you had your opening meeting, you know, I know we had around 40 or 50 runners, a lot of excitement in the program. Like you said, we got a lot of experience coming back. What was your message to them? And then do they set goals as a team? Okay, well, we talk about it being an individual sport, but what you do as an individual then helps the team. So, it, so we look at it from two, two ways about it, coming in from two different directions. And so we want them to do their best as individuals, but understand that your teammates are also counting on you to do your best to help out the whole team. And they, they do work well together, they help each other out, they cheer for each other, and they also feel that they can help everybody on the team, not just themselves. What I love about how you schedule, Coach, is that you want to go against the best. You're all about getting the team ready for districts, regionals, and state. What do you have on the schedule this year that you think is going to be tough competition to get the kids ready? Well, we made a few adjustments this year's schedule. We'll open up with a D2, D3 Classic. So right away, we are running against and competing against the best top Division two II and three schools in the city. From there, we will go to Waynesville to compete against some of the Dayton schools and some of the northern schools that we'll see at regionals. Uh, we'll follow that with Anderson, which is a Division I meet, a mostly Division I with a few Division two and three schools. And then Ross, which is the same situation with the West Side schools. What that does to us is that, that forces us to run faster. You don't get better by beating the same people we can win. You get better by running against faster people. Even if they beat you, it makes you better. 
and then we'll close out the season at CHCA um, as a kind of a time for the leagues, and then we go right to the tournament. Well, Coach, the St. Country Day School has been a staple up at the state track meet. I look forward to being up there again this year. Thanks for all your, your years of service and looking forward to a great season. Thank you. Thank you very much.